We've got the welcome return of James and Bumble back off of their holidays and it's just in time for us to introduce Lily. She's a 57 foot reverse layout cruiser built in 2009 by Venture Narrowboats and fitted out by Debbie's Dayboats. She's been brilliantly prepared for sale. She was last blacked in July 2023 and there was a survey in July 2023 as well which is available for viewing in the office. The engine was last serviced in November 2022 and there was four anodes which were deemed satisfactory at the survey. There's a glimpse of Bumble there, he'll be coming on board with us shortly. These windows are all tinted so they're harder to see in and they still let plenty of light in inside so you've got privacy glass really. Those four storage boxes on the roof each have a solar panel totaling 400 watts of solar with a Victron MPPT solar charge controller on board as well. Nice cruiser stern space at the back. We'll have a look at the engine afterwards. Got the view from the helm there. And into the galley we go. The galley is 8 foot 5. Head height on board is 6 foot 4 and the lighting is LED throughout. There are laminate worktops here in the galley. There you go, have a look at Bumble. We've got a wine rack there next to the oven and hob. That is a GG2000, no, 2200 oven and grill and a Spinflow 4 burner gas hob. We've got the drawer underneath it and the cupboard next to that. Here we've got the 12 volt LEC fridge with an ice box. Plenty of cupboards in the galley here. Plenty for Bumble to have a good old sniff around. Got the electrics cupboard here. There's your Victron MPPT. There is also a Sterling Pro Combi Q 2500 watt inverter charger. That is actually in this cupboard but you can't quite see it. Those steps do move out the way to get better access to those cupboards. Stainless steel sink there. Although there currently isn't a washing machine, I think there is room in one of these cupboards. You could put one in if that's what you wanted. Some drawers here. The one at the bottom is slightly larger. And then another little cupboard. Then you've got the dinette area got these two side hatches here, both sides. They've got fly screens built into them that come down and um, acrylic screens as well for the weather. Another little cupboard here. This floor, you've got storage underneath the foot area, which is very nicely hidden away there. And then there is, of course, storage under the seats as well. This does convert into a spare double when needed. Dinette's six foot long, so healthy sized bed there. It's all fitted out in here in oak face ply with oak trim throughout the boat, and then there's this wood laminate flooring as well. Saloon is 11 foot 10. Shelves and TV point on one side, and the multi fuel stove that is a Valor Willow. And there is, of course, space for a couple of armchairs or a comfortable sofa or sofa bed if that's what you wanted to put in here. Packed full of cupboard space, it really is, and more drawers. Here you've then got another cupboard or a wardrobe, I suppose, depending on um, if you've got somebody staying in the dinette area, they could easily use that as a wardrobe. Have another look quick look down the saloon and galley before we move on to the bathroom tiled in the bathroom on the floor it's a real nice feature the bathroom is six foot one got a cupboard over the toilet quadrant shower it's tiled in the shower area You've got some little shelves here. Behind that you've got all of your plumbing you can get access to. And then a couple of shelves again. Ceramic basin over a cupboard. That's a Thetford cassette. There is a spare cassette on board as well. And have a look in this cupboard quickly in the medicine cabinet. There we are. Into the bedroom. The bedroom is 9 foot 4. No, sorry, 9 foot 2. 
The bed is six foot four by four foot. There is a cupboard over with a couple of um, battery operated uh, reading lights. It's, a, it's an unusual arrangement, the, uh, the bedroom. You've got two single wardrobes either side of the forward door and the bed is in the middle of the room. And I think what, it, what it's been designed for is to allow the person sleeping next to the gunnels to not actually have to sleep under the gunnels, which is um, definitely more convenient. And it's on gas struts to access all of the storage underneath. You can access your Thetford cassettes from there as well. Bumble's having another little look. And again, on this raised section, you've got storage all under here. Bumble's very excited about it, as you can see and storage in that forward step as well. Have a quick look at that before we go out. Got access to water pumps and electronics in there before we go into the well deck. Well deck is three foot six. You've got access to your gas locker there as well. It's two, there's one 13 propane bottle, but there is room for two. Glazed forward doors, just got a quick glimpse of before we walk back through the boat. So she's centrally heated by a Wabasto Thermotop E diesel fired central heating system connected to the three radiators and two heated towel rails. Hot water is heated by the engine Wabasto and immersion. There are four 110 amp hour domestics with a separate starter and separate bow thruster battery. I meant, did forgot to mention the Vetus 55 kgf bow thruster, so navigation is aided by that. There is a 200 liter integral, water, uh, integral fuel tank and a 90 liter domestic tank that heats your heating. You've got the Vetus M4.17 42 horsepower engine. Sorry about that. Mixing up my words this morning. And the water tank is integral 500 liters. So there we have it. That's Lily. For further photos, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, visit our website at www.rugbyboats.co.uk.